Deep in the hills of the Ozarks is a place that has become a landmark for memories among the South and across the globe. This is a place where men transform from boys. Classmates become soulmates. And leaders' names are etched in stone forever. This is the University of Arkansas. The University of Arkansas was established by the Morrill Land Grant Act of 1862. In 1871, the college was founded upon the lush hills of Washington County. By 1875, construction of the iconic towers of Old Main was complete. William John Wagner became the very first to receive a degree in 1876, and two years later, the Arkansas Alumni Association was born. So many people in my family that have been to the University of Arkansas. I'm the oldest of seven. For starters, my grandfather. And six of us graduated from the University of Arkansas. I have a sister and, and two brothers. My father. Two of our children. My older brother's a Razorback. I have a brother here now. On, only one of his. Numerous aunts and uncles. We're working on our grandchildren now. Numerous cousins. And a brother-in-law. Our third one went to Notre Dame, so he didn't. He didn't. Turncoat. A huge amount of people in my family have followed the tradition of coming to the University of Arkansas. Oh, you can be, you can be Karen. You can be Karen Raymond. How's that? As long as I can remember, the Razorback pride was instilled in me. He, always hearing stories from my grandfather and my parents and my aunts and uncles and um, about their time at the University of Arkansas is something that makes me very prideful. It's a little, it is a little pride. Linda, you're buying me to be in. You gotta be in the front. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that was really good right there. Just hold that right there. All right. Yeah. I never remember a time where I didn't know how to call the hawks. Here we go again. Hey, smell out the camera. Smile. Oh, pretty. When you're finally finished with that education and you're kind of like, what's next? It's exciting and a little scary all at the same time. It's something that I'll always love going back and visiting. I, don't, I just don't see how you could stay tied to the university if you didn't, uh, if you didn't join the alumni association. There's just missing out on just the continued uh, camaraderie. Opportunities that I was given at Fayetteville changed my life. 
I was going to be uh, a Razorback for my life. And it, part, that's, part of that would be the Alumni Association and then later became a, becoming a life member. This is where I became an adult. And, uh, and this is where I created my first friendships and created the career that I've uh, built on. This was the place where the doors were first opened for me. I had always said that I like to teach. Um, and in a way, patterned my career after Ernie's. My teacher here, Ernie Dean, he collared me one day, my sophomore year, and told me that that I was doing okay, but I could do a whole lot better. And he really made me focus on, on journalism as a career and not just something to do to get a job out of college. You know, Ernie worked um, professionally for years, and then he came back to teach, and he had so much to offer, so, so much experience to share. And I thought, that's a pretty good way to, to say thank you and pay back a debt. So I keep reading about Gordon Whitkin, Matthew Wade. I'm not looking for that. Some of you are sort of sneaking into that zone. I, I, I liked him for a variety of reasons, but not the least of which was the fact that he took an interest in me and, and really got me on the right path. I, I, I owe him a career. <laughs> The class of 1896 was the first to don cap and gown. Less than a decade later, our greatest tradition began, Senior Walk. Today, more than 140,000 names cover the campus in Fayetteville, more than five miles of walkway. That sidewalk tradition is so special and the only college that does it. I walk to class looking down every day and I just look forward to the time where I can go find my name and then bring my family back for years to come. Knowing that one day walking across campus, walking on those names, like one day my name is going to be there too. It's going to be over by Science Engineering. Well, it's sort of in front of the Student Union. It's in front of the Science and Engineering Building. On the north side of Old Main. I'm almost to the Student Union. Mullins Library, my name is right there. Right there by Old Main. It's between the library and student union. It's an honor, it's a tradition, obviously, that's, that goes way, way back in so many thousands of alumni. Nobody doubts that the campus at Fayetteville is the research university with the greatest resources, the greatest track record, the greatest history, the land-grant university. Uh, what's it done for me? Well, it's created uh, a great livelihood and a great profession for me. Uh, it created an opportunity for me to have a great quality of life, uh, to have a great career and, and support a family and uh, enjoy the fruits of the American dream. To know that you obtain an education uh, at this university is uh, pretty special.